I wanna share a secret with you about myself that I haven't told many people out there. I certainly haven't told anyone online, yet here I am making a YouTube video about it. And what I will say is, the first 35 plus years of my life, I felt like I wasn't worthy. How many of you out there felt like you aren't worthy? You aren't worthy for success, you aren't worthy of financial freedom, maybe a relationship, a marriage, whatever the success, whatever it is, you don't feel worthy of it. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably not gonna respond in the comments and say, oh, that's me. But I'm telling you, I've worked with people who are extremely successful that feel like they are unworthy of success, they self-sabotage, and they lose it all. And I wanna share with you my number one strategy on how to develop self-worth the way I did to start being able to unlock healthy relationships, being able to unlock the ability to create wealth, financial freedom, and so on. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is about my number one strategy to create self-worth on your way to financial freedom, because if you create financial freedom and you don't feel worthy, guess what's gonna happen? You are gonna self-sabotage. Yes, I said it, you will self-sabotage. How do I know? One, I did it. And I, I seen and coached many clients through it, but then also I've watched them self-sabotage after they stopped working with me for whatever reason. But I will say this, I do know personally, because what happens is I remember I would get out of debt, you know, I was in 30 to $40,000 credit card debt, not, not only once or twice, I had to do it three times since I'm an overachiever. And every time I did, the reason why I went back into it, even if I started saving some money and I started to lose it all, is I didn't feel worthy of success. I certainly didn't feel worthy of financial freedom, but I couldn't even think about financial freedom because I was so buried in debt that even when I got to zero, it was like, oh, okay, I just got here. I'm like, I can breathe again. I'm at neutral. And so what I did was I started to find the pattern within me with self-sabotage that I wasn't worthy of being successful, of having financial abundance. And it was because of how I grew up, the stories I told myself and the way I measured success, the way I measured myself. So I've seen it time and time with clients over and over and over. And so one of the strategies that I'm gonna share with you today is really gonna help with that. And see, I wanna share with you that the measuring stick of life, of success, is not finances. Most people, they get their worth through how much they make, right? I certainly did for my entire life, pretty much, for over 30, 35 years, everything was about how much money you made. Society teaches us that, right? It's social conditioning. We're all conditioned that if you're not making money, if you're not doing lavish trips, the nicest cars, the biggest house, who are you? And that's completely wrong. I'm here to tell you that is dead wrong. Do not believe that. But for 35 plus years, I believed that lie. That was my measuring stick. And so I started looking at here's a key distinction this is the mindset shift it's not about what you have on the outside it's what you have on the inside think about this why are people who lose everything and go bankrupt they, they have zero dollars they actually owe money usually six seven figures why are they able to get everything back and more if it the measuring sticks on the outside and they have nothing how are they feeling worthy enough to go recapture that it's not about the outside, it's about the inside. Most people get that confused. Now, yes, we hear it all the time. You know, it's about what you think of yourself and how you think of yourself. And it sounds cute, it sounds powerful, but do we really believe it? And I am here to tell you that is absolutely true. And I've seen it time and time again. And the reason why people are able to make that stuff back and even more is because of how they see themselves on the inside. And that is they, they have that self-worth. They're able, you look at people who they might not charge, they, you might have a skill set that's better than someone else next to you, but yet they charge more money than you. Why is it? They have a self worth to charge that much. Now, the skill might not be there, or maybe it is, but for most, sometimes in these examples, I've seen it where their skill set's certainly not there, but they're charging more. In fact, I remember I had a client who was brand new into coaching. He started trying to charge so much more. And I was like, man, his worth around money and what he brings to the coaching table is certainly more than me. And I was like, wow, but he really didn't sign up that many people um, at that price point. And they had to slowly come back down. Um, 
And it's not because he wasn't a good coach. He was just in the beginning stages, he was learning, but he was overly optimistic at the same time. Doesn't mean he can't get there. So anyway, with that being said, I want to help you if you're and you're not going to admit, you know, like, oh, I don't I don't feel worthy. Look, there's not it's not a matter of if you feel worthy. It's a matter of where do you not feel worthy in some area of your life, right? We, we tend to say, oh, I have self-worth over every, you know, as a macro comment, right? But really in different areas of life, we don't always feel worthy. I know people, they do not feel worthy in their finances, but they feel so worthy in their parenting skills. Or maybe they have a great marriage, but they're just, they're not good at fitness. They don't feel worthy enough to have, you know, success in the fitness, health and fitness space. And it's not a lack of strategy, it's a lack of psychology. And so what I want to share with you today is the number one way to turn your self-worth around. And I'm talking on a macro level. Um, as you dive into these areas, you can also start doing this exercise in other in independent areas like finances or health or whatnot. Um, but I want to talk about self-worth as a whole. And this, once you've established this and go through this exercise and really own it over time, you're going to feel worthy of financial freedom. You're going to feel worthy of success because it's not a matter of external, it's a matter of internal. So here it is. You guys ready to jump in? Let's do it. All right. So what we're going to do is the first thing is you have to write down 15 qualities that are great about you. Now, you might sit there and be like, oh, Joe, that's easy. I'm successful. I'm a great parent. Right. But those are external qualities. What we're looking is at is the internal qualities, the things that make you great. And so you're going to say things like I'm kind, I'm generous, I'm powerful. And that's great. And I want you to do that. But I want you to get a 15. If you're overly ambitious, get to 20. But here's what I will say. After around seven, eight, maybe nine, it's going to become really difficult. You're going to have to be like, oh, my gosh, what is great about me? And it's going to cause you to dig and stir up qualities about yourself that maybe you've suppressed, you haven't acknowledged, you haven't highlighted in your life. And it's really who you are. Right. And we want you to I want you to be able to dig into that. And you might need to go on Google or type out, you know, a list of, you know, internal qualities. And you can look through that list and be like, is this me? Yes. And I really want you to highlight ones and put down things, those qualities that actually represent who you truly are and inside. I know I have I have a big heart. Like that's the biggest thing God's ever del delivered to me is like he gave me a heart to love people, to care about people. That's why I'm making these videos for you guys. That's why I coach people and help people. It's like he got just giving me that heart. And that is great quality. I have I'm all about manners and respect now. Not if you cross me, those things go out the window, um, which doesn't happen too often. But, you know, you you're going to poke a bear. You're going to get a fight. Right. So anyway, um, but I'm kind, I'm generous. So write down all those 15 qualities that make you great. And again, if you're overly ambitious, you're an overachiever, you want to hit 20, go for it. What it's going to start to do is it's going to start to peel back the external and just really allow it to just fall down. And what's going to be put up on the platform is all these great internal qualities. Why are we doing internal versus external? External changes all the time. Internal usually takes a very long time for it to change. And so these are things, these are going to be pillars that hold up your self-worth. Each quality is a pillar. The more pillars you have about you that you can reinforce your self-worth, the better. And that's where I'm telling you people commit suicide because they use external pillars that can crumble when challenges come or when a, a law changes or a deal gets executed the wrong way and they commit suicide because they don't know who they are on the inside. They're just the lawyer. They're the accountant. They're the mother, right? Moms go through this after kids leave the house. They're like, who am I? Right? This is why we call midlife crisis, because we don't know who we are. We don't know the qualities and the characteristics that make us up. So do the 15 to 20 internal ones. Now, that's great. You've done that. High five to you. Great job. But here's what happens. Your brain is going to say, well, I don't believe it. And your unconscious mind, 
right? The part that controls 90 to 99% of you, what it wants and needs is references. Our brain's always looking for references to validate the thoughts and the beliefs that we have. And if you believe you're generous, your brain's gonna look for where are, show me ways that you've been generous. So what you're gonna do in step two is each quality you wrote down, you're gonna write down three references of the past where you've proven that quality to be true. So, for example, um, I write down I'm generous, right? It's like, okay, one way I know I'm generous is when we host parties, usually we pay for everything, all the food, all the decorations, the drinks. We love to do that for people, right? So that would be one. The second one is my awesome VA who edits this, right? He had a laptop that wasn't working great. We bought him a brand new high powered, you know, whatever RAM or software is needed, computer for him to be able to operate in a function at a high level. And that just came out of the generous generosity of our heart. The third one might be is like, just how I like to, I've donated to charities and, and giving and so many other things like that. And that those are just references that when my brain says, you're not generous, right? I could say, yes, I am. Here's these three references that prove and that reinforce, right? Like if you have a pillar, right? You might have, th we want three of the rebars in that pillar planted to hold that pillar up. And so you want those three rebars, those three references so that the unconscious mind buys into it. And when you do that, now all of a sudden, you have all these 15 to 20 qualities, you have all these references that prove true, and you're gonna create more as you move forward in life because as you're aware of who you truly are on the inside, not the outside, you'll create more references to live through, live by that and live through that characteristic or quality. You have more references and that's where you'll get your self-worth. When people, when you, maybe you don't have the money to give, but you're like, you know what? I, I am generous in, the, in my time. I could sit down, I can help someone go through or just listen to them how they went through this breakup and you just, you're there to listen, right? And you're generous with your time. Not always is it finances, by the way. So I want you to write down those 15 to 20 qualities, get those three references that are like the rebar and the concrete of that pillar that holds up your self-worth. And I'm telling you, as you meditate on this, as you digest this, as you consciously choose each day to live at least one of these qualities or more, Right? But just to keep it simple, one quality a day of like reminding yourself how you're kind and living that out, you'll start to ingrain that into who you are. That'll be just who you are. Your nervous system will start to buy into that's who you are and you'll start feeling worthy. You might get around people who are worth $100 million and you don't feel inferior because you know you are just so generous with your time, maybe even with your finances right with your knowledge and that you're willing to give where this person isn't they're just so focused on making money and you're like yeah they might be worth more than me but man i am so much better than i'm over here and we're not here to play the comparison game i want you to know we're not here to compare but it is a moment where we technically at times unconsciously we will go to compare and that can start to lower our self-worth but you might sit there and identify like it's not about the money it's about the generosity. Maybe it's about how kind you are when this person over here is not as kind. You'll start focusing on the qualities that make you great instead of the qualities that you believe makes them great. That is a huge distinction. So when you can make that shift, that's when you'll feel worthy of success. That's when you'll feel worthy that you could charge more. That's when you're gonna feel worthy to start your own business, to invest in a real estate, to invest in passive income opportunities, where you will feel worthy when you actually have achieved financial freedom and you don't feel bad because others around you didn't choose to make those choice or make those choices to do the same things you've done. You'll be able to feel worthy of your success, your financial freedom, and you'll have the heart and the qualities and characteristics to help others if they so choose to partner with you on the path or follow you or get even your coaching one step ahead. So I hope that makes sense. It is one of the most powerful exercises I've done, my clients have done, that's given them extreme success in filling up their cup, filling up their worth bucket. And remember, every quality is a pillar. Every reference is like the rebar that's inside it that holds it strong. 
And so the more pillars you have, the more rebar you have, the more successful that building will last for the long haul, the more you will last in the long haul. All right, so with that being said, I share my secret on how I was feeling so unworthy throughout my almost entire life. At least within the last three to five years, I've started working on that and working through that. And look, things come up, right? There's things that have been unresolved that will, you think you've resolved a lot and then it's like, boom, something gets triggered and insecurity pops up. I'm getting insecurities all the time. In fact, it was yesterday I was asking for prayer for God to highlight any insecurity in me so I can go and attack it. I don't want that to stay rooted in me. I want to uproot it. I want to just get it out. I want to attack it head on. And I'm sitting here saying, I've created some success. And out of that, I still have some insecurities I'm working through. And I know if I've, I'm working through it, there's got to be something in you that you haven't addressed and you need to work through. And if that's you, this exercise can be extremely powerful. It's not the end all be all, but you may need a coach to help support you in rooting out those insecurities, finding where they are, uprooting them and planting something great within you. And so that you can go out and fulfill your mission or your purpose that God's given you. And so if that's you, you might want to reach out to us and go ahead and fill out our coaching application on masterlifebydesign.com. Just go there. You can check out services and then fill out the one-on-one -on -one coaching application myself. You can work with me or my wife, or you can work with one of our coaches that are high performing coaches that have great results with our clients in all industries, especially in the real estate space. So if that's you, go out and apply now. But with that being said, I'd love to know, comment below. What is one of your greatest qualities? Like, what did you discover that's great about you? I want to hear it. I know I have a heart that is just so full and love for people. Um, I know it can be even more, but that's the biggest quality that I know God's given me. So what is it for you? Um, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, subscribe, right? So that you know when these videos come out, hit that notification button so when these videos come out, you could jump into them. I'm going to be, me and my wife talked about it while we were on our adventures because we went to the East Coast for a week at a beach house and then we went camping out here in Boise about three hours away and we were talking about how we need to get her on. So if you have any topics or anything that you feel you would like her to touch on, we're gonna do a video together and then a video by herself, which is gonna be awesome because she's so powerful. She's so amazing. She is a wealth of knowledge. She coaches me when I need it. And I think she, you guys are going to really enjoy the way she communicates the knowledge that she has. Plus, she's extremely easy on the eyes. So at least I think so. I think she's gorgeous. So anyway, we will be having more of those come out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.